All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome to my sixth installment of my Adobe Illustrator CC tutorial on how to illustrate or vectorize a car. In today's tutorial, we are going to be covering the headlights on this F30 BMW. So we are going to start by creating a new layer. And in this tutorial, we're just going to do the driver's side headlight on one layer and the passenger side headlight on a completely different layer. This way they are much easier managed. So we are going to call this uh, headlight driver because it is on the driver's side of the car. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn off a couple of layers that I don't need to see and turn on the background layer. Then I'm going to take this new layer we just created for the headlight and I'm going to drag it underneath the shading layer. This is kind of a good opportunity to come in and adjust any of those paths that you drew earlier that might not be lining quite up the way you'd like. Okay, so let's be sure to lock the shading layer and make sure that all of your other layers that you're not working on at this time are locked. And we're gonna just start by drawing the main housing here for the headlight. So this this will be the very bottom layer, the very bottom path on this, la on this layer for the headlight. So we're just gonna assign that a bright white color. That's gonna be kind of what's glowing. And we're just going to add all of the little shadow pieces on top. So we'll lock that and turn, on, turn it off so that we no longer see it. And now we can start coming in and drawing all these paths that have a little more detail that will all have the same color tone to them. So they're all going to be this kind of dark gray color. And remember, this layer is situated underneath your shading layer. So sometimes you don't have to be exact um, on a layer that is essentially underneath another layer. You can, you don't have to draw each shape perfectly. Now to move around on your canvas easier, hold spacebar and you'll get this little hand and you can just hold and drag to move around. That way you don't have to zoom out and then zoom back in on a place that you'd wanna see. You can just grab that spacebar and pull in the direction that you'd like to go. So now let's just draw a simple stroke and I would like to not have these hard edges on this stroke. So we are going to choose round cap just that those uh, strokes, the stroke line doesn't have any harsh edges. Now I'm gonna select the line tool and I'm just going to draw in each one of these lines individually. And then anything later, you can come back and adjust those points. So we're gonna do the same thing for this little area of detail within the headlight. I'll select my line tool, line segment tool, and come back and draw each one of these shapes. Now you may be asking yourself, well, why can't I just copy and paste these shapes like we did in the last tutorial where we were duplicating hexagons in the grill? If you duplicated this shape each time, it'd be the same length and you'd have to go back and adjust it later. So now we're just going to select that first path that we drew and assign a stroke to it since it's kind of white on white background. Now we can kind of see where the headlight's actually going to be. So now I'm just gonna come in and I'm going to draw a dark gray shape to kind of anchor all of this, make a few adjustments. And there's a little more detail in the top of this. So we'll come back and add a little little more detail in the top part of this headlight to give it that aggressive look that the car itself carries. And you can add as much or as little detail as you see fit. All right, a couple more paths and that should take care of it. Now this is the headlight that's in the distance, so you don't have to be so literal. Now to close this layer, this big layer that we've created all these paths in, 
Just click this little downward carrot and that will collapse that layer. Now you have a more manageable layers palette. So let's do the passenger headlight. So we will create a new layer for this and let's select gold for this. That'll look nice against the blue while we are drawing. So again, just like the driver side headlight, we're gonna start with a bright white solid shape. And this basically represents the headlights being on. And without adding a glow feature to this, this is kind of the best way that, you know, that you can make them look and appear as they are uh, on and lit up, as they are in this photo. So again, just like last time, we're gonna just draw in these gray shapes. I'm using a magenta stroke right now, just so that it's a little easier for me to see. All of these shapes are going to carry the same color and property. So I'm just using this as a guide to better see. I personally feel that headlights and wheels make or break a car when it comes to these illustrations. So it is up to your creative freedom to decide how much detail or little detail you need in order to achieve quality look. All right, that's looking pretty good. So now we want to take all of these shapes and select them. And then we will come over to our tools bar and switch them from stroke to fill. And we don't want this pink color, so we're going to grab our eyedropper tool and select the color from the other side. And that looks okay. We'll turn back on the base path and then we'll turn on a couple other layers, zoom out, turn off this background layer and then uh, turn on a shadow layer so that we can anchor our drawing. And that looks okay, but it could look better as always. So let's come in and add a little bit more of the details in the top part of this headlight here to give this a more aggressive look like we did on the other side. And that was kind of a bright blue. So let's pick a bright kind of cyan color Turn that off so we can see the next shape that we're going to draw. And that's, that's going to be this purple. All right, assign that, that deep purple color. And then we'll draw one final shape to kind of fill in any gaps that we might have missed. Great. Now that that's done, we're going to go back and select and group the initial gray paths that we drew earlier. Now I'm going to come back in and use my pen tool to draw a few more paths to add some more detail to the inner workings of this headlight. I'll use my direct selection tool to kind of finesse it and get it just right. Now I don't necessarily need the background layer here because I'm just drawing in an, another level of shadows inside these uh, headlight bezels that will add some more detail and realism to the illustration. Great. One more at the very bottom, and that looks good. So now I want to come back into the like middle of the ground gray on these headlights and double click the fill color to change it to a darker color gray. Double click again and even darker. Now that white that we drew in the very beginning pops a lot more and looks like it's essentially glowing without assigning it a very literal 
and somewhat cheesy glow. So just like we did with the windows and just like we did with the fog lights, we're going to top off each one of these headlights with a path that is a, a gradient fill that is set that is white on both sides with one side's opacity set to zero. Now we can use our gradient tool to drag the gradient in the angle that we'd like. I'm going to actually set this to 80% opacity. It, I don't need it to be super bright since uh, it's not a, exactly 100% transparent at the top. I'm, I'm using more of the gradient in this path. So same over here for the passenger headlight. Oh, put that on the wrong layer. So I'm going to drag that up to the uh, passenger headlight layer so I don't get those confused in the long run if I need to come back and make an edit. And don't be afraid to use your direct selection tool to come back in and make any adjustments to paths that you've drawn previously. Now I'm going to use my gradient tool and drag that gradient way up and I'll bring the transparency on this passenger headlight down to 90%. And that is looking really good. In this particular illustration, I don't feel it's necessary to take these headlights any further. They look like they're on and glowing, they look aggressive, and they look like they belong on the car. That's really all that matters. We have a lot of detail in both the upper kidney grills and the lower grills, and trust me when I tell you, these wheels are going to make the illustration. So stay tuned for the next tutorial because we are finally, finally going to draw these wheels. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the side mirrors or the taillights or the door handles. That will all be covered at the very end as we trim up odds and ends. But stay tuned as the long-awaited wheels for this F30 BMW will finally be drawn. As this illustration comes to a close, I feel that it's probably an appropriate time to remind you that I have signed up for Patreon and I have included a link in the description below in case you would like to support this channel even further. And if you are interested in more Illustrator CC tutorials and other car related nonsense, please consider subscribing. If you liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up. It really does help and I will catch you guys in the next one.